Jordan Peterson really knows how to stay in the spotlight. He's been involved in a number of controversies mainly because of his problematic views. For those of you who don't know, he's a Canadian clinical psychologist, a best-selling author, and also a YouTube personality. His ideals have upset a lot of people because they come off as conservative. However, he's had many highlights throughout his life. Let's dive into Jordan Peterson's best moments of his career. First of all, Jordan Peterson confronts Australian politician on gender and politics. Jordan Peterson was asked on a show why identity politics is consistent with Martin Luther King's vision. Peterson said that the identity politics isn't consistent with his vision at all. Why is this? Well, identity politics results in putting a group identity primary and individual identity secondary. When you value someone based on their group, that's the basis of all discrimination in the first place. He uses this to make the case against quotas. The Australian politician then interrupts and says that the woman should be at least equally represented in government since that constitute a representative democracy. To this, Peterson poses a counter-argument with the fact that just because women aren't represented 50-50 at a level and in all jobs doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't something wrong with society on a whole. He then presents a statistic that's 99.9% .9 of bricklayers are men. Why isn't there a push for quotas when it comes to that? The concept of equality should be all across the board, and not just in Candyland jobs. A lot of times gender equality comes into question when office jobs or high-level jobs are concerned. What about dangerous and rough jobs? It's only fair to have an equal quota for both genders in such jobs as well. This is what the real definition of equality is. Equality is not fighting for rights when they appear to be convenient, and it is high time people start to understand this. The audience applauded when Jordan made his point, which says quite a lot. Next up, Jordan Peterson's key to a successful 50-year-long marriage. One of the highlights of Jordan's career is his advice on a successful 50-year-long marriage. A lot of people have said that this podcast has changed their perspective on relationships and life. According to him, it's very easy to romanticize successful relationships and marriages in which one's comfortable and happy all the time. However, this is not true as daydreaming won't get you anywhere. Peterson says that successful relationships are all about creating a space where the boundaries are clearly defined beforehand. Each partner should be able to completely trust the other to be completely open about their feelings, thoughts, and all experiences. Jordan shares his own example. He says that he and his wife do their best not to lie to each other about anything. This should be the first priority in any marriage. Lies just make things messy. Having fights when they are important is necessary. Now, don't get me wrong. What this means is this allows people not to hide things and everyone is out in the open. It's completely normal and healthy. When you find you're in a sticky situation or you're in the middle of a dispute, it's important to get to the bottom of the problem. Check what's causing problems, what needs to change and why. A fair bit of confrontation and communication will help you progress at a smooth pace in the future. Furthermore, if you want your marriage to continue to be rewarding even after decades, you should continue to date each other. Fit three special dates per week to keep the spark alive. Relationships require effort, passion, cooperation, and most importantly, love. Now, he tapped into frustrations that feminists shouldn't ignore. Jordan Peterson has been called a messenger of hope for young men confused by cultural upheaval and labeled as supporting patriarchy and fascist by some. In this environment, Peterson offers a code of self-discipline and responsibility. The core of his fan base is young men, even though this message appeals to both genders. His central theme is that these young boys in the modern Western world are amid a crisis. Many boys and men have been struggling with cultural transformation in recent decades. Did you know that boys are more likely to be negatively affected by parental divorce than girls? They are also less likely to go to college or compete in high school and working class men are more likely than working class women to be left behind by economic shifts. Another important thing, those who lose out in the labor market and cannot reach what's expected of them are likely to face poor prospects of marriage and ultimately fatherhood. The Canadian psychologist blames the feminist assault on masculinity as a major culprit. Feminists argue that feminism can liberate men too from the confines of patriarchy. But how often have you seen this actually being practiced? The sad truth is that most feminist discourse spends more time bashing men for trivial transgressions. The word masculinity very often appears next to the word toxic. This says a lot about the changing culture. Now, this may not appear as a huge problem to the world, and people might not even think about it if it's not highlighted enough. Peterson, on the other hand, believes that such values can confuse young boys growing up and can lead to shattering their ego and self-confidence. Hating men is not the solution to anything. Let's talk about Jordan's contribution to psychology. He's a clinical psychologist and also teaches psychology at the University of Toronto. As a psychologist, he's contributed to 100 plus scientific papers. The topics include personality, aggression, mythology, social conflict, and also religion, and states that Mother Nature is a cold-blooded killer, and so are we. He explains Carl Jung's shadow self and says that we have the capacity for monstrosity, which is present throughout our lives. Moreover, he says that with a little awareness, it is possible to control one's dark side. One should catch it leaking before it floods our entire existence. It's one moral duty to control control these tendencies when one is in a position of influence and power. 12 Rules for Life, a Global Success His book 12 Rules for Life explains the human experience. The rules that he's mentioned in the book which became a global success are along the lines of standing up with your shoulders straight and having self-confidence. He also says that self-love should be a huge priority and it's often ignored. You should always treat yourself like someone you're responsible for helping. Moreover, befriending people who are the best for you is the key. Man is a social animal and we do need people around us all the time, but some people will only exploit the good in you. This is why 
why you should always be around the people who bring out the best in you. This book is a huge contribution to modern psychology, and a lot of people agree with the facts and arguments presented in it. Did you know that President Novak gave the Order of Merit to Jordan Peterson? Peterson was awarded the Civilian Class of Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of Hungary. This is according to the evening edition of the Hungarian Gazette. Hungary's new president, Katalin Novak, awarded him this honor in recognition of his outstanding scientific work in the field of clinical psychology. She also praised him for his exceptional dedication and influential activities in the defense of creative freedom and the education of youth. Peterson made a personal appearance at the office of the president and gave a lecture over there. In a Facebook post, the president wrote that the world-renowned psychologist and educator gave an exciting lecture. She also said that the Sandor Palace is more than just an office. It's a symbolic place which provides a place for thinking and building a community which understands each other. Lastly, his lecture in Grant Hall on the 5th of March 2018. A number of students came to Grant Hall when the University of Toronto's professor came to deliver the inaugural Liberty Lecture. He was in conversation with Queen's Law professor Bruce Party on the topic, The Rising Tide of Compelled Speech in Canada. Party said that everyone has the right to liberty and to present themselves the way they want to. However, liberty goes both ways. It's not the right to demand that the world validate the choices you make and compel speech. Peterson went on and agreed with the importance of resisting compelled speech. He said that something wouldn't be serious if it didn't have the possibility of frightening and offending people. One thing about him is that his views are very clear, and he doesn't filter out anything he wants to say. He and Party spoke on the topic for about 40 minutes and also talked about Bill C-16 and the Law Society of Ontario. As Jordan appears to be a controversial figure, students arrange protest after this. However, he does make solid points, and this is one of the most important lectures of his career. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on Jordan Peterson's best moments of his career? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!